recently there had been a lot of cases of people claiming coming from the future or a parallel universe. Although a lot of them may seem as a false claims, there is scientific evidence demonstrating that time travel and parallel universe teleportation could be real. Wojnach Jokovic, a 60-year-old man from Lithuania, said that at the time the Soviet Union existed, he had the opportunity to participate in an ultra-secret project that allowed him to travel to the year 4000, where he met a race of aliens. My friend David Milads and I decided to investigate in depth. In the 80s, I was a scientist in a company and attended a seminar, the man from Lithuania told a video published by the site Apex TV. Zhokovic said he had the mission of finding an artifact called Eye of Nebula, to know the technical specifications and share that information with his friend. According to the story of Wojnach, Milads developed an artifact that allowed them to travel through time, so he was the first human being to perform the complicated transportation. He chose me because he liked me as a friend, he said. I put myself in position and began to feel how my body became small pieces of information. Suddenly I lost consciousness and fell asleep. I found myself face to face with aliens, he said during his interview. Zhokovic said that at first he was not able to understand what these beings wanted to tell him, but they gave him an injection and after that he was able to communicate with the aliens. In their history, the aliens were white, about two meters tall and with huge heads. The beings of this galaxy would have revealed several secrets, such as that they visited the planet Earth in the year 3100 and that they wanted to form a community with the most intelligent species of the universe. The Rise in Self-Proclaimed Time Travelers In late 2000, in the forums for Coast to Coast AM, a late-night radio program dedicated to the paranormal, a man named John Titer began to post about how he was a time traveler. He claimed he was originally sent back to 1975 to pick up an IBM 5100 computer. His situation was a lot like the Bruce Willis character from 12 Monkeys. Instead of locating a virus, however, he was sent back to find a very specific early IBM portable, one that his grandfather had helped program and assemble. It was vitally important tied to retrieve it so government scientists from the future could use it to fight a legacy computer bug nicknamed the year 2038 problem. Which, by the way, is a real thing. Then, about six months beforehand, on March 24, 2001, Titer disappeared forever. These time travelers recognize the public's need for proof. Some admit they can never convince us. Others try to explain how it works, or they attempt to convince viewers with questionable evidence, like blurry pictures of skyscrapers in the year 6000. Then there are the ones who make predictions of events that will soon come true, their proof of future events is never a prediction of what will happen next week, or later in the month. It's always a matter of waiting a few years. And then, you'll see. Is it time travel? Or are they other humans from a parallel universe? According to quantum mechanics, in 1957, a Princeton physics graduate student named Hugh Everett showed that the consistency of quantum mechanics required the existence of an infinity of universes parallel to our universe. That is, there has to be a person identical to you viewing an identical video right now in a universe identical to ours. Further, there have to be an infinite number of universes, and thus an infinite number of people identical to you in them. Most physicists, at least most physicists who apply quantum mechanics to cosmology, accept Everett's argument. So obvious is Everett's proof for the existence of these parallel universes, that Steve Hawking once told me that he considered the existence of these parallel universes trivially true. Everett's insight is the greatest expansion of reality since Copernicus showed us that our star was just one of many. Yet few people have even heard of the parallel universes, or thought about the philosophical and ethical implications of their existence. It's say it's possible to time travel if you focus your consciousness vibration to the one of an alternate universe. Some people had achieved time travel by mistake, there is another story of a woman that came from a parallel world. About four months ago I woke up one normal morning, I was in my rental house where I lived seven years ago, 
everything was the same, except that the sheet set that was in my bed was different, I did not give importance at the time. Well, I went to my office, in my car, which was parked where I parked all the time, and it was the same office where I worked in the last 20 years. But when I got to my office it was not my office, it has the names on the door and mine was not. I thought I had the wrong floor but no, it was mine. I went down to the wireless zone of my office and I looked for myself, I was still working there but I was in another department reporting to a director that I did not know, I went to the office that marked the directory, I said that I felt bad and I left. Everything in my portfolio was the same, my cards, my ID, everything the same, but I did not remember having changed department at any time. I went to the insurance doctor and they tested me for drugs and alcohol. Everything was clean. Like this women's case. There had been many reported each day. Of people apparently transported to a parallel universe, the parallel universe and time traveler phenomenon cases had increased sharply after the Mandela effect. The Mandela effect is a collective misremembering of a fact or event. Various theories have been proposed to explain what causes it. This form of collective misremembering of common events or details first emerged in 2010, when countless people on the internet falsely remembered Nelson Mandela was dead. It was widely believed he had died in prison during the 1980s. In reality, Mandela was actually freed in 1990 and passed away in 2013 despite some people's claims they remember clips of his funeral on TV. After the Mandela effect, there had been many reported cases that our timeline had been changed. Good popular examples are the Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes as an alternate memory, something odd happened, people report remembering it was Looney Tunes, not the actual name Looney Tunes. Also on the episode of Star Trek, Luke, I am your father. If you ask someone to quote any line from the Star Wars series, that's the main one you'd hear in response. It's one of the most iconic lines in film history. But here's an earth-shattering fact, that line was never uttered in any of the movies. The quote is actually, no, I am your father. Like this there is many evidence that suggest that our reality has been changed due the fact of time traveling or us individually and collectively changing universe dimensions. Scientists, based on quantum mechanic facts believe that there is more than one universe, they had done scientific test where a particle if not observed is in a wave position, meaning it's everywhere, but as soon as observed it turns back to a particle, even more than that, they had recorded the particle being able to go back in time. They have also noted that particles pop in and out of existence, and have calculated and concluded that there is a very small possibility, that of you being teleported to a different part of the universe. The possibility exists, but is so small that you have to wait millions of times the age of the universe. They also proved that our universe is a vibration frequency, just like a radio station, if you change the frequency then you will tune a different station, could this also work for universes? Back to the time traveler claims and parallel world claims, there are more questions than answers, it seems to be odd that all began with the beginning of the Wi-Fi era, who does remember every time you look at the clock and saying the 111 or 1111. In my particular case this never happened to me before year 2001, I began to see those numbers every time I looked at the clock, like if I was programmed or something telling me to look at that exact moment. I never understood this phenomenon, but now it seems clear that it was a warning that my reality was being changed, also after the 2010s when the Wi-Fi signal was massively expanded throughout the world, we all began to heard the hum sounds on the sky, government will always come up with ridiculous conclusions such as it was a gas leak that was making that jet sound. Now in this time of humanity we are been bombarded with signals from everywhere and in all directions, we have radio signals, Wi-Fi, cell phones, satellites and many more. Could the Wi-Fi and other signals have changed our tune with the universe? Could this giant wave of vibrations open portals for interdimensional beings and time travelers? Our realities had been changed and this could get more intense in the following years with the increase of the Wi-Fi cell phones and other vibration and frequency signals.